It's all up in these duck plucking uh, audio divers right there. You'll see what I'm talking about when you watch the video gate, no doubt my mind. And you'll see my radio station too, ain't no doubt. 419, real good, real good, real good conditions coming out of doggone uh, Jamaica right now. 419, audio man with his old DAK number 9 radio transmitting right here, right now. Break, break, break. Yeah, tell I got audio man. Uh, so my, uh, right, I've been using radio quite a while, my friend, but I think this radio, I get it from my friend. And I don't think you know the quality of this radio, my friend, audio man. But this radio, I love this radio. It make like a monster. It make like it's supposed to use in the army deal for sure, 10 Oh, yeah, that Doug Parker sounds good, too, dude. You didn't tell me what you're transmitting with, but I'm telling you what, it sounds real good. Ain't no doubt in my mind there, Roger. Yeah, tell the other man, are you using a super scope? Using a super scope, here come on, radar right there for short, then so. Oh, wow, you said a super scope. I'm going to have to look into those, man. I'm not real sure what a super scope even looks like. I'll be doggone. Yeah, I, I, that sparks an interest to know uh, exactly what you're transmitting with. I'll have to look it up on YouTube and see what that duck plucker looks like. Because if it, uh, it looks as good as it sounds, man, that's a bodacious thing. Ain't no doubt in my mind. A super scope. Never heard of it, dude. Never heard of it. But uh, I guarantee you one thing. <clears throat> By the time the sun goes down around my town, I'm going to know what that doggone super scope looks like there, 410. Has it got, uh, is it, is it coded? I mean, is there any numbers on that super scope there? Go ahead. Yes, sir, it's a 140. It's a super, co super scope. Here, come on. CB 140, 10 Alright, I'm going to look it up too, man, because I'm really curious. He said a 140. I'm really curious to uh, what that doggone thing looks like because it sounds bodacious. Yes, the answer, man. When I get, because I have two radar, I have a realistic also, but when I get this radar from my friends, audio man, I have to put it up and use it, and when I put it together, my friend, with my antenna, every single soul loves this radar. And them say it's sounding so beautiful. I don't know how it sounds as yet, my friend. Uh, they're for 19, so we're standing by. Oh, Roger on that there, 419. Well, I'll tell you what, man. I don't know if you like them big, fat radios, but uh, if it looks anything familiar to this doggone DAC-9, I can understand what you're talking about. But uh, there's a lot of good-looking radios, man, no doubt in my mind. A lot of them out there. I like the old school stuff a whole lot better than uh, this new technology stuff, man. God, dog, have you looked into all the newer radio? God, dog, dude, plug it into your computer. Program this. Man, forget all that mess. <laughs> A419, I ain't got time for no uh, programming a radio through my uh, PC there. Go ahead. Yeah, audio man, that is me. I think they have something in common there, audio man. I don't like them new stuff. I'm an old school, cause this, this, this super scope radio, I think this radio built from uh, in the 70s, 80s. Right? When I pick the channel of your stuff, I go click like a big old clock. <laughs> hey, audio man, it's a simple radio. It's like a mobile radio, 10 4 Oh, that's, a, that's a mobile radio? That's not a base radio. Yeah, this is a mobile radio. This is not a base radio. Ten four. Oh, for Roger on that. Okay, okay. Yeah, my, I, I talk on all bases, man. If I'm sitting at the base, you can almost guarantee I'm keying down a base. Every now and then, I did, uh, well, a lot in the past. I, I really don't plug in any of my mobile radios anymore. I'm usually talking on a base somewhere between, uh, you know, my Cobra 2000, um, my doggone uh, Browning Eagle number two up there. Uh, I got a couple other ones laying around here. 
But, uh, yeah, I like talking on a bass radio when I'm sitting in this doggone easy chair, no doubt in my mind. But I'm definitely going to look into that super scope. I, I can't wait to see what that duck plucker looks like because I'm telling you, man, A419, that thing sounds beautiful coming over the air, dear Roger. Yes, Captain. you talking about, break, break? Yeah, tell you, my friend. I was talking about using all them audio mic there. Yeah, to kind of step up the audio on this radio here for sure. So this radio have quality I hear, but need some look more audio, let me know. Man, leave it alone. Leave it alone. <laughs> I heard on you was doing an audio test, and uh, what you were testing, brother, it failed. What you've been talking to me on, it's a winner, man. I mean, a winner there. Go ahead. Yes, I the audio, man. Well, I think when I made that trip back up, I will, I will show the call and you can give me one of those radio phone calls and be a little now. Oh, right, on that, man. Yeah, come on in to Pal Talk and talk to me in there about all that stuff, man. I mean... I give you uh, every bit of information I know that I can. Uh, I got a lot of tricks up my sleeve I don't put out here on the air. A lot of people scratch their heads and they say, how the hell is he doing that? <laughs> but I'm just on a standard microphone, a standard radio right now. Um, you know, when I run my Cobra 2000 and a couple other radios, I use studio equipment and everything like that. But on this old Deck 9... I like using this doggone deck, solid state doggone power mic with it, man. Ain't no doubt. I just got this radio back uh, not even a not even a week ago, but um, man, I tell you what, uh, it's one of my favorites. It's definitely one of the on the top list, no doubt. In my mind here, Ronja. You still in there? I am my eye out there for four shots of game. I don't know how my eye out there for you. I'm getting all the way there. Nah, I ain't for Jesus. I'm at 13. 